Hello guys, welcome to another FU Money and today Wednesday we have been retracing a bit again from yesterday's stop and everyone is confused but today is a very very important day and if you don't remember today is the close of the month, the close of the quarter and the close of the six months. So Today, instead of just going for a uh, normal analysis, going down in time frames, we are going up. So let's just go to screen share and just give a quick look at the price to time model. So far, we have been retracing a bit from yesterday's stop and we continue to be delayed regarding the 2017 cycle, which is the yellow candle pattern you guys see here. So nothing really new on the price to time model and the RSI again continues to fight going to, let's see, again going a bit down on the RSI. So yesterday we had a bigger tip to the upside, but now due, due to this retracement we started to have since the la last night and this morning, we have been going down on the RSI again. So the price of time model has no big news today, no big differences from yesterday. We are still above the lowest low here on the correction of 2017. However, we are delayed compared to the other two cycles and mainly the 2017 one. I still think that we could have a kind of 2013 bull run with a local top that we already achieved by that curved top over there on the mid cycle. But it's hard to understand if this is going to continue to the upside exactly like the 2013 cycle or if we are going to have a bit more sideways action and accumulation before going to higher levels. So regarding the price of time model, that's it. No big news here. So let's go to the MRI strategy, the charts where the MRI is king. And we start as usual by the weekly. So on the weekly chart, as you guys can see, we had a green candle until this retracement started this morning and we are now a bit below the opening candle of the week but we had a green candle all day yesterday while going up since Monday evening and uh, since Sunday evening and all Monday and Tuesday until today we started to retrace that uh, that move to the upside. Um, we continue to be above the 50 period SMA. Actually, we found support when this week, uh, so the past week's candle went really, really uh, strongly to the downside and we found support and now we are a bit undecided about what to do, but we have to wait a bit and see how the week goes. We are still on Wednesday, so we have four more days till the end of the week. It's very, very probable that we could go and close the week on the green here. That would be a very, very good sign because we had already two red weeks before this one. And I'm really curious to see what happens. But really, really important today is what is happening on the higher time frames. So instead of going down today, I'm going up and moving from the weekly chart. I am going now to the monthly chart which is going to close today by the end of the day. So, wow, if you look at this from the monthly perspective, we had a really, really bad month in May. As you guys can see, the drop was really big. Let me even go higher here so the zoom gets it all. So we had a big rise all these months, six, uh, three, four, five, six even seven months going to the upside and then the seventh month retraced and closed on the red and then and this was april of course and then the month of may um just wiped out all the gains from uh so this is may april march all the gains from april march and now we are almost wiping out all of the gains of february so the monthly look does not look very good. However, the only thing that I can say about the monthly chart is that we would need to close above 37 
280,000 so 37,280 dollars to have a green doji by 1 a.m tomorrow in portuguese time which is the monthly close so in a few hours and let me just see here how many hours are left we have eight hours and 42 minutes to go and at least reach $37,280 to close this monthly as a green doji. I have to tell you guys, I don't really believe that we can achieve that today in just 8 hours and 41 minutes and 50 seconds now. But that would be an amazing turn of events if Bitcoin could do that. Uh, closing this month with a green doji would be a very, very good sign that we are um you know having the price action reversal and probably this month would do it uh but i guess we will have to wait because it's almost impossible to see a rise to 37,280 in eight hours that means around well exactly that it's three thirty four thousand two hundred seventy now so that would mean four five six seven three thousand dollars three thousand dollars more well it's not that impossible i've seen moves bigger than that in bitcoin but three thousand dollars from where we are right now in eight hours and 40 minutes will be almost impossible so it's it's really funny to see the charts in the monthly view because you guys can see that almost all the gains from one to three months were wiped out in just two months so the drop has been stronger than the rise and well of course everyone hopes and i also hope that we could do it for this monthly close but we have to wait another eight hours and 40 minutes to see it so the monthly is not really looking good and we are still in support as i said before the 30k has been very very good support to hold the price here we had two attempts to go really lower than that uh, we had one attempt that uh, stopped around 29,650 and another one that stopped around 28,800, so 28.8k. And we have been rising since those two attempts again, trying to reverse the price action. But it has not been possible so far. So in the monthly look, the RSI looks bearish. Of course, it's pointing down and the MACD also has uh, been showing some bearish signs. Of course, the blue line turned back down uh, in a very, very um, closed angle here. So the, the, the angle was going up and then suddenly turned back down in a fury and the orange line, of course, is still going up. The bars are light green already and you guys can see the big gap between the bars. So this is not yet uh, saying bearish, but it's going to it's going in on, on track to become bearish. So let's see what comes out of this. But the monthly view, that's it. This is what you have, guys. And it's really frustrating to see it. Uh, let's try the other. So the close of the quarter. And here I should have this in log because it looks very, very strange. So the log gives us a different view. And here we are on the view, the log view of the quarterly chart. So you guys see that this is the first time that we have been having, well, actually there's a good sign here. Before I say what I was going to say, let me just show you guys that the quarterly candle, it's funny enough to, be, to not be yet an engulfing candle. And that's is, <laughs> that is a positive sign on the quarterly chart, of course, because the last three months we have not been able to close or we will not be I, I will say it's even more difficult to close this red candle below the body of the green candle and becoming an engulfing candle than reaching thirty seven thousand and two hundred eighty dollars by eight hours in eight hours and 40 minutes so if you look at the uh, quarterly chart which the candles represent three months this is not an engulfing candle 
and that's the only positive sign I see here. So of course, everyone is hoping for Bitcoin to reverse the price action. And I'm hoping to the same. I'm always very, very bullish uh, unless we break the 30K level to the downside. But being really rational and I don't I don't see it happening in eight hours and 40 minutes that we can close the monthly candle as a green doji. But I also don't see this one closing today being an engulfing candle, which would be very, very, very bad. That would be very bad. It would mean that we would be below 28,000. 28, so this candle opened at around 28,900. So we would have to close this candle below 28,900. And that means going exactly to the same low as previously, to the last swing low and closing below that. Uh, so I don't see it happening also. So that's a good sign. And let's see how this evolves. Of course, the RSI is really, really bearish here. It's even more bearish than the previous chart. But the MACD is still, still going bullish. So as you guys know, the MACD is a laggy indicator. Uh, of course, the blue line is much, much higher than the orange one. And the gap between the two bars is not so big because this is a laggy indicator. And if you and when we talk about these big time frames, like three months for a candle, of course, it takes a long time for the MACD to represent the bearish market, if there is one, because I still believe we are in a bull market until at least we break all those supports that we have discussed already in the Pro Indicators framework and the trend line that comes from December 2018, still going up and supporting the price. So let's see what happens here. But there is even another chart that you guys can see, which is the six month chart, which also closes today. So we have three big closes today. We have the monthly, we have the quarterly, and we have the six month chart, and all of them are closing today. The six month chart, however, it doesn't look good. And it doesn't look good, not completely bad because we have still a shooting star, but green shooting star. So there's still a possibility that we could reverse the price action exactly where we are around the 30K level, 34, 35K level and continue to the upside. But if you look at the six month chart, and this is what I wanted to show you guys, this is a a shooting star candle, still green. That's not 100% bad as if this was a red shooting star, but it's still a shooting star. And probably this means reversal to the downside unless we are able to maintain the 30K level. So guys, uh, today it's a bit different of an analysis because we have a special day today. We have the big candles closing all at the same time today. Uh, I want to point out that for the monthly, it doesn't look good. We are still supporting the price above the 30K level of support, which was the same level of support that um, held the price after the big rise in January. And then to the end of that month, we were uh, for two weeks or three weeks going down, but the 30K level supported the price. And now we are again being supported by the same level. However, you should notice that every time a support is tested, it becomes weaker. So that's what we have against us. If you are a bull, that's what you have in favor if you are a bear. But in my case, I'm still a bull because I believe that the supports are not broken yet. We are not in a bear market. And I cannot even declare that would be going against everything I believe in charting and markets saying that after two or three weeks of going down in any market, this would become a bear market. So in my opinion, we continue to be supported by the 30K line. We continue to be in a, in a bull market and the trend line is still holding the price. And let's see how long this will last. The quarterly chart, however, as I showed you before, It doesn't look so bad if you consider that this last candle that we are right in now is uh, represents the last three months and is not is not an engulfing candle. So if this closes below the 28.8 K, 
then I will be very, very worried. But so far, we don't have an engulfing candle here on the quarterly chart. And the six months chart, as you guys know, it's a shooting star. But if you guys consider that we had uh, blow off tops for many uh, for many of the bull runs we had before and only for a few months considering that every, uh, all the candles are six months we had three red candles we had two in this one and we still don't have any here so uh, in my opinion we should already have a red candle in the six months if we were to be in a bear market so that's my um this is what i was wanting to show you guys today because today the 30th of june is an important day the big candles close day and this is my outlook in a bigger time frame than normally i show in the show i show in the show that's funny okay so uh, that's it for today i just wanted to point out that this is an important day and guys you have my outlook for the really big time frames so let me just stop screen share uh if you enjoy this content of course gently touch the like button subscribe to the channel but don't forget to touch the bell icon and select all for the notifications so that you get notified every time i upload a video or a live stream start uh, also don't forget to join the telegram group i will just put it here right now for you guys to see so here it is join our telegram group and you go to a browser t.me forward slash fu money and you will be uh, presented with a page where you click the button and you automatically are invited to the group on telegram or you can just use the telegram app and search for fu money on the search box and of course the first result will be the fu money group because we are always first okay guys so really enjoyed this analysis of today giving you the big outlook for the charts the big 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 charts and the bigger time frames and i hope of course that we can sustain the 30k level but we will see what happens uh it doesn't look as bad as it could but it doesn't look very very good either so let's see so see you guys in the next one and have a really nice day bye bye <laughs>